Hello, Salem Lutheran School students and faculty. Greetings in the name of our Lord, our Savior. I was in cross country when I was younger. In college, I think I ran a few times. In high school, some. I never did very well. I think when you run a long ways, you got to really think ahead. You got to think of the, the finish line. You got to think of the goal and the prize of winning. And that's what Paul writes about here in Philippians. He, he sounds almost like he's an athlete. And he uses the comparison of how, how the runner has to forget what's in the past and strain toward the future and keep the, your eyes on the prize. So let, let that be a little rhyming theme for your day and for your life. Keep your eyes on the prize. And, and what's the prize? Well, Paul talks about that here too, that Jesus will return and he'll take us home to heaven. And we won't be sinful anymore. We won't have any sickness. We won't have any sorrow or suffering. Satan won't trouble us ever again. We'll live in perfect peace and joy and love of our God in heaven. And in that, we rejoice to know that that's, that's what's coming. But in the meantime, we are running this long race, and it is like a marathon. Uh, I never run in a marathon. Uh, 26.2 miles this is a little farther than I want to ever try running. And uh, But those that do that, I know they have to keep thinking ahead. Uh, they're going to finish this race. And, and so life is kind of like that too. The life of our faith is like that, that we're uh, running this marathon race. It's not like it's just going to be over quickly. We're going to have to keep going and keep going, and keep going. And as we're doing that, we're thinking ahead to heaven and what Jesus is providing for us. Now, he's the Savior who came from heaven to give us heaven. And he had to run a race. He ran the race to the cross. And then he suffered and died and gave up his life there for us. He kept his eyes on the prize of having us with him in heaven. We're his prize. We're his precious treasure. That he would love us and, and want that for us. And, and so really, when we're running now, with all of the temptations and all of the struggles and all of the challenges to give up or to give in or, or to just stop trusting in Jesus because there's something better, the, another direction, uh, we keep our eyes on that Savior who loved us and we focus on him and what he did for us. And we think of heaven and him welcoming us home as we cross the finish line. And what a wonderful day that will be, a day that will last forever, a day of victory, a day of Jesus' warm embrace, a day of final and full and eternal victory over sin, death, and devil. Uh, something to look forward to, keep your eyes on the prize. Let me read from Philippians chapter 1 here, Philippians chapter 3, I'm sorry, um, where Paul writes from verse 12 on, not that I've already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus also took hold of me. I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it yet, but there's one thing I do. For getting the things that are behind and straining toward the things that are ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. But our citizenship is in heaven. We eagerly are awaiting for a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power that enables him to subject all things to himself, he will transform our humble bodies to be like his glorious body. Yes, keep your eyes on the prize. Focus on Jesus and what he did for you to give you heaven. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for running the race that led to the cross in suffering and pain that you would endure for us there to give us forgiveness of sins, peace with God, and joy, and the sure and certain hope of eternal life with you in heaven. As we run our race in this life, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you and your word, your promises, and help us to see the prize that awaits us as we live our lives in faith, the prize of heaven, that we don't deserve or even earn but that you give us as a gift of your grace. Bless this day and give us joy in knowing that you are our Savior forever. Amen.